this has been looked at really extensively. In fact, there's ongoing work at the moment. Currently, we would slit, split it into treating the stickiness of the blood and looking at the vascular risk factor. So the stickiness of the blood is medications like aspirin, although now we're tending to use a medication called clopidogrel. It's very similar to aspirin, but thought to be, I guess, slightly better in the TIA context. And what we would generally do is give you a high dose of medication as the first dose, what we call a loading dose. So that would be something like giving 300 million, and that's to boost the body's levels of that medication. And then you'll go on 75 milligrams once a day, so a regular daily dose of it. At the same time, we'll often give you a statin medication. Now there's a lot of press about statins, but actually, I mean, they're the most commonly prescribed drug in the UK, but given in the right context, they have had a significant impact on recurrent strokes. So early on, we'd want to start you on that. And it's not just a cholesterol lowering effect. We believe it's an additional effect on stability of those, what we call unstable plaques in the pipe, in the vessel. And then blood pressure. We're very keen on a low blood pressure. And typically, what I would tell patients is, it's not a bad, some people say, oh, well, my blood pressure is high whenever I see a doctor. But actually, I mean, you can buy a blood pressure monitor now and monitor your blood pressure at home. And the target value we're aiming for is less than 130, which is the top number, and less than 80, which is the bottom number. Now, that will be unachievable for some people because they get too dizzy when they stand, and that's fine. But it's about getting as low a blood pressure as it's possible for you to tolerate. So it is clopidogrel or an anti-stickiness medication, a statin medication, and an antihypertensive. And for TIs, we know that those three combinations together reduces the risk of recurrent stroke in the order of 80%.